Hello friends, this is Raj Sastri from Raj Option Trading. Today is January 14th, 2023. Hope you're all doing well. In today's segment, we'll take a look at how to make money with stocks with very high short ratio and how to benefit from it. So with that, let's jump in and get started. We will start with a quick market update and jump into stocks with a very high short ratio. Look, from a market perspective, we are trending higher. We got S&P 500 trying to go higher as you can see here. But look, there is a nice resist resistance level here around 4250. So we got to be slightly careful here. And we got uh, Dow Jones Industrial Average. It's parting as you can see here. Nice uptrend. Look at the way it came back nicely here. So it's a great uh, bull run in uh, Dow Jones Industrial Average. And then we've got NASDAQ here. NASDAQ is the weaker of the indices here. It's, it's also trying to go higher. So we got to be careful here because there are a lot of NASDAQ stocks where the revenue estimates may have to come down. That will put some pressure on some of these NASDAQ names here. And small cap Russell 2000 is also going higher. So you got to be slightly careful here. Look, we got a nice resistance level here. So we got to be care careful because the rally is going too fast at this time here. Look, bonds are trying to go higher. That's a good sign. Interest rates are falling down. Folks are flocking into mortgage buying homes because they think interest rates may be coming down and look crude oil is uh, oil oil or energy they're trending slightly lower as you can see here and gold is going higher folks are flocking into safe haven gold uh, to retain value there is also some fear that the recession might be in play that's why folks are buying gold which is generally recession proof and look, dollar is coming down. That's a great sign. Companies like big companies, Apple, Microsoft, and so on and so forth, they can have some favorable exchange rate as they bring money back into U.S. And also as they report uh, the earnings, they can have some positive benefit uh, from um, uh, currency. And you can also look at VIX here. Uh, look, we'll look at VIX. Look from a VIX perspective, look, VIX is dying down here. You know, that's a great sign here that tells you the bull market is uh, going on as of now. So with that, we'll also jump into uh, my favorite indicator, which is fear and greed index from, uh, from CNN. Look from a fear and greed index perspective, we are in greed right now. Look, we were... Uh, we were earlier, we were all the way somewhere in extreme fear. Now we are in greed. So as we are as we are in greed, folks are really buying these risk assets. So we got to be slightly careful here. As Fed comes out and makes some statement, we can go right back into a neutral or even fear for that matter. That's why we got to be slightly careful here. So greed is not a great place, but we can. Uh, we are in the middle of the greed zone here. As we go slightly higher, about 75 or so, you can expect us, us to come back to say 50 or so. That's why, you know, be slightly careful here, buy some great names and go from there. All right, so with that, let's jump in and look at one of my favorite platforms here, which is uh, FinViz. So as you go into FinViz here, so you could go into uh, FinViz. It's a free, um, you know, scanner, as many of you know here. In FinViz, if you want to look at uh, the short squeeze names here, you could actually look at uh, uh, screener here. So don't worry, uh, I got FinViz Elite, but you don't need to have fin FinViz Elite. You can try this along with your free FinViz platform, no issues. All you can do is you can go into all here. And you know here, typically when you play the short squeeze game, I recommend you go with the stock price over $1. So that way you don't go into very, very, very super Ill illiquid names. And you could also go in here and say current volume. I typically like to say current volume over $1 million. So that way we don't get uh, at least some good stocks with nice volume or liquid stocks you'll get through this uh, criteria. 
And if you want to be a little bit sure that, you know, this, these companies have got nice uh, current ratio, you could say current ratio over one, that will tell you these companies have got money to meet the short term financial obligations. All right, that's uh, pretty simple here. And if you got free scanner, uh, you could go in here to the ownership tab here and you could click on uh, uh, short ratio and there you go. So you could just uh, short ratio by descending order. Look, we got it here. And you know, f some folks that don't care about uh, current ratio, in the initial scanner, you could remove current ratio here. So you could, uh, you will get all the stocks with nice and high sh um, short float. You could also actually, best better way to do it is to click on short float. This is really telling you short of float or short of stocks available right now. Look, this is a list here. Top of the list is uh, none other than SI, which is Silver Gate, as many of you know here. This used to be Crypto Darling Exchange, and it did very well a while ago. Look what's going on right now. It's uh, trying to come down drastically. And you could, uh, you know, f you could also click on the performance here. It tells you the performance. And since I got, you know, Finviz Elite, I would uh, go into the custom tab here. Um, if you have Finviz Elite, you could go into custom tab. Otherwise, I recommend you go in the ownership tab and go from there. Look, we got Silver Gate at the top here with the nice and high short uh, float 66 percent as you can see here and look stock is going higher of late it's up 7.64 percent as you can see here but look at the performance in one month one quarter half year all down big time and look rsi is uh, 36 that tells you there's a chance that this can go higher but be careful earning is coming at coming up next week for this stock that's a binary event i would say don't uh, go in here before the earnings probably it's uh, better to wait for the earnings but if you're a daredevil uh, and want to buy before the earnings you could buy some now because short ratio is extremely high after the earning if there is some positive news stock can explode higher mainly because it's a very high short ratio here and then you got few more as you can see here these are all stocks with very high short float as you can see here so you could uh, get this data what i typically do is i download this entire thing into my spreadsheet by clicking on the export button if you have finviz elite platform they will uh, let you download the data um, by clicking here i can get all the data into my excel spreadsheet right now we got uh, 1400 uh, um, you know stocks with a very high short ratio so with that what i will do is i will take you to my excel spreadsheet where i downloaded the data from uh, finviz from trading view a uh, stock rover fintel bar chart and so on so forth let's go jump in here right now and look at my spreadsheet look i got the spreadsheet here and look we got uh, stocks with very high short ratio and as you scan through here i will actually slightly go here you can look at the short ratio also here look we got stocks with very high short ratio here i will go all the way and probably you know leave it right here so you could see some uh, details here all right let's uh, go right here into all the way to open interest here uh, so you can uh, look at some of these things very nicely all right so we'll uh, leave it right here we don't want to clutter the screen here all right so look <clears throat> this is uh, sorted by short ratio and you can see here we got short float right here that tells you all these stocks have got very high short float top of the list is uh, none other than silver gate as we talked about here stock price is 13 dollars ouch that must be hurting big time market cap is just fight 429 million dollars insiders are selling so you got to be slightly careful institutions are also selling so that's why you know you got to be slightly careful here and if you're an options trader look there's a very nice open interest here 533 nice option volume as you can see here 
and put call volume ratio this indicates how was the volume on friday volume ratio is typically for the day as many of you know here while put call volume ratio indicates there is a more put volume folks are a little bit worried so they're buying put options and for put call open interest ratio this is basically uh, op stocks or options held by uh, traders overnight this also tells you there's a very high put option trading going on here folks are really buying put options to make sure they're protected and as you can see here very uh, the float is 26 mi million shares not too much that's why there is a chance this can go higher and look this is a profitable company as you can see here earnings per share 3.9 and as you can see somewhere here uh, we got uh, growth growth is 18 percent quarter over quarter sales growth is negative as you can see here and uh, we got gross margin gross margin is uh, um, 82 percent and net margin looks like we net margin is one percent company still makes money but nowhere close to what it was doing earlier look stock is down big time in a 10 day one month one year two year it's down big time um and uh it's trying to go higher in five day um look five day up 7.8 percent in one day it's down so you know for a stock like this one here uh, given earnings is around the corner um you know we got to be slightly careful with this one here um and uh, uh, you know look we got earnings at 221 uh, let's click on silver gate that doesn't look right so earnings is 117 as you can see here so since the earning is next week you got to be slightly careful and uh, look uh, i think probably uh, i read the net margin wrong here net margin is 48 percent the company is making money as you can see here and uh, so let's look at rsi look from an rsi perspective rsi 14 day is 36 and rsi in seven day is uh, uh, 41 that tells you stock is getting a little bit stronger um you know in the in the near term because rsi seven day is greater than rsi 14 day so if you're a dead devil i recommend you can buy some uh, silver gate before the earnings uh, maybe a little bit but if you are well, like a conservative trader you know stay clear for now mainly because earnings is coming up next week on next tuesday you could see how it goes and then uh, buy and there is a very high chance this stock can go higher mainly because look short float is very high and if there is any positive news uh, you know during the earning this can squeeze those short sellers and go higher um, mainly because there are a lot of negative news already baked into the stock at this time silvergate also took, got a loan from fe federal government uh, sometimes last year in december all right then we got carvana here look carvana is uh, you know it's been going up like crazy look in last five day 10 day one month it's up nicely here it gave back some on um, you know on friday 12 percent down at this time rsi 14 days uh, 58 and rsi in uh, seven days 68 that's a huge uptick here that's why it's giving some back here so i would not buy at this time here i want this to cool down and then i would uh, buy look earning is coming up in 223 which is february 23rd here so you got some more time but i would like this to calm down a little bit before i jump in especially because rsi above 55 i would not be buying at this time here and as you can scan through here corvana has got uh, you know pretty okay open interest here if you're if you're an options trader here look it's got pretty good open interest here uh, stock price is seven dollars um, and uh, as you can scan through here we got uh, iv percentile um let's see what's the iv percentile for this one here iv rank look iv rank is high because iv rank is high you would not buy call option here because uh, you will be paying more money if you buy call option here instead wait and look there are a lot of analysts following carvana here right now holding it's a whole rating so i would uh, i would not buy up here i would wait slightly let it cool down um rsi is too high for me 
and then you got few more here look bed bath and beyond also uh, went higher look it went up so much look at that five day performance 179 percent i would not bite up here it came down by 30 percent on friday and look this one has got earnings coming up i think earnings is over next earning is uh, april so you don't need to worry about earnings all you got to worry about is any bankruptcy looming so you got to be slightly careful here all right so we got few more things here i will not uh, go through this list in detail what we'll do is uh, you know we'll look at uh, you know very high short squeeze here uh, what we'll do is we'll look at the short squeeze score um, and make sure let's look at the stock the short squeeze score maybe greater than 60 and go from there all right so let's look at short squeeze score greater than 60 and go from there all right so we got our list here all these stocks have got very high short squeeze score as you can see here and uh, <clears throat> one more thing we'll also do is uh, we don't want to buy the stocks which are uh, going higher what we can do is we can look at the rsi level here look we got rsi right here let's make sure we look at the stock to the rsi less than 55 so that way we don't uh, stop buy the stocks uh you know going uh, with a very high rsi so let's say less less than or equal to 55 all right so we got our names here this could be you know a good short list here if you want to buy some uh, look rsi perspective rsi is uh, less than 55 as you can see here and some of these names have got very high rsi when it comes to rsi you know seven day here if the rsi seven day is super high you know you got to be slightly careful here so this is a list you could look at uh, if you want to if you want to buy if you're a super conservative you could even say rsi seven day you know maybe less than 50 uh, maybe less than 60 here so you'd even, you'd, uh, even see less names here you would see names like fsr which is uh, you know 47 as you can see here you could also look at siri and we got a few more names as you can see here we got amrs and so on so forth and look you know many of you want to play uh, the stocks which are very good from your option perspective um, what we'll do is uh, look uh, we already uh, selected the options here let's do one thing let's remove the option here for a minute here so you could uh, look at stocks uh, you know with the the overall all the stocks uh, here look we have our rsi still uh, look we got rsi less than um, 55 here and if you want to look at con you know conservative names here you could also say rsi seven day you could say less than 60 uh, let's uh, just do that here less than or equal to 60 here now you can see here you'll get a subset of stocks here with the rsi of 14 day as you can see here less than 55 which is right here rsi 14 day less than 55 and rsi seven days less than 60 and if you want to even uh, you know reduce this list further down here you can say rsi um rsi seven day is less than say let's make it uh let's 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 make it 55 and let's also make uh, rsi five day or rsi 14 day instead of less than 55 let's say less than 50. this could be your you know good list here uh, to look at some conservative names here look this list is uh, look we got rsi 14 day is less than 40 less than 50 that tells you it's uh, uh, stocks are down here but look rsi seven day is less than 55 so you know depending on how you want to play here uh, many of these names you could look at you know some names for example gas as you can see here rsi 14 day is 36 but rsi 7 day is 50 that tells you this is becoming stronger um, still rsi is low you could still buy this and participate in the uptick here and look insiders are buying this uh, gas company you could participate in that one also as i click on gas you could get some additional information about gas it tells you there are uh, 12 analysts covering where it has buy rating and as you can see here we got few more here 
And if you want to buy some uptrending stock here, you could say, look, we have RSI uh, seven day. We said, um, you know, less than 50, less than 50. You could also say RSI, if, um, uh, RSI 14 day, less than 50. You could say RSI seven day. You could even say between here. That's the beauty of Excel spreadsheet here. You can say it's between, say, you know, let's say 50 and uh, let's say here, let's say between 50 and 60 or even 55 here so that way it's a conservative here we are looking at low RSI stocks look RSI 7 day is less than 50 but RSI uh, RSI 14 day is less than 50 but RSI 7 day is between uh, 50 and 55 this could be your list here you could look at these names here still stocks are beaten down and look from a short ratio perspective we got short ratio high for many of these names here and look they are becoming stronger from a rsi perspective rsi 14 days uh, uh, 44 but rsi 7 days 50 you could look at this list here you could uh, see if it uh, if it makes sense to you and you could also look at um, in the performance here if the stock is trying to improve in one day five day you could just go slightly and you could go and buy them and go from there all right so now you know many of you are options player i understand so let's uh, remove this filter here and let's see what are the stocks you can you can uh, buy which are very good from your option uh, open interest perspective um, i would also make this year 55 here so depending on what you want to do if you want to do um, you know a option buying i would say you you would go with the rsi less than 55 and you could also go over here and um, look at the IV, IV rank here. If you're option buying, you could choose the IV rank less than, say, uh, less, less than or equal to. I would say 40 is uh, good. You can say less than or equal to 40. Uh, let's say 40 percent here there you go so this could be you know if you're an options buyer and you want to participate in the short squeeze uh, you could uh, look at this list let's also Im increase the open interest many times you know stocks like allo here you you want, don't want to buy options look at the open interest here you know there is uh, it's not an options play you would lose money um, if you buy low open interest stocks here instead i would go here and say open interest more than five hundred thousand. let's see here I would say open interest more than greater than or equal to 500,000. So if you want to play options uh, market, I would uh, go with the nice and high open interest. All right, so we got 500,000 right here. Look, this is a you know relatively short list here. If you want to play options uh, in the options market, look, we got uh, stocks with the relatively good open interest all over 500,000 iv rank is uh, low you know below uh, 50 as you can see here or below 40 and you know many of these stocks as you can scan through here trying to make some uh, improvements look lucid is trying to go higher it came down slightly and from an rsi perspective lucid still has let's see here lucid's rsi 54 which is less than 50 for 55 you could still buy some lucid here and you got a few more like a fiscal could be a good one here you could look at siri tilray and sundial all nice uh, volume open open interest here you could look at some of those names here all right so with that what we'll do now is we'll go into uh, one of my favorite platform which is uh, trading view look what you could do is you could uh, take this high short interest and you know if you if you know if you don't have finvis elite no problem you could just uh, copy this you know into excel spreadsheet here you could just copy like this open up excel spreadsheet and get these uh, symbols here uh, into a csv comma separated file that's exactly what i did and i uploaded the comma separated file into my um, into my trading view screen look uh, in my short list here i have uh, you know two um, you know i got a short uh, interest or short float high short float here look i got all these stocks here this is uh, all the stock with very high short float uh, it's in the descending order stock at the top has got high short float 
and what you could do is um, you could just go here and uh, you could uh, remove the list here let's go here click on uh, this list here uh, let's do one thing let's yeah let's go back to short float here yeah we are already in short and you could uh, you know i think we got the list here you could just go here and uh, you know make this uh, if you want to look at some of these names here let's do one thing let's go back and get our uh, list here short list all right so let's look at some of these names i'll remove gitlab gitlab was not in was not in the this list here probably it was in a different list we just uh, look at look at looked at, looked at this uh, symbol um, and let's do one thing let's remove this and we can actually import it back here let's do one thing let's remove the short here and let's import the short that will give you an idea how to import also you could click on the import here and I got here my short CSV. I could just import. Look, I got my short list imported here. And once you have the list imported here, it makes your life much easier. You could click on this uh, symbol, which is SI in this scenario. Look, uh, if you want to analyze short squeeze here, I recommend you to download uh, squeeze indication uh, indicator you could just click on the indicator i will quickly show you here look the moment you put squeeze here and if you can see here we got squeeze indicator from um, lazy bear this is a good one here you could add this uh, squeeze ind indicator from lazy bear and uh, and go from there uh, there is also one more indicator here which is uh, i think it's the same indicator as you can see here so you could add this squeeze indicator by lazy bear into your uh, into your trading view uh, that's what i did and one thing i would recommend you do is uh, you know this indicator if you go with the the default setting it's a little difficult to read i would say you can click on setting right here what i typically do is really i would uh, click on here go to the color and the moment you click on the color increase the opacity all the way to 100 percent it will be easy on your eye so i did the same thing here i basically did the opacity 100 percent for color zero and look it's 100 percent and you could go into color one do the same thing you could go all the way to 100 percent and do same thing for color two and color three that makes your uh, a little bit easy for you on your eyes so the moment to do that here then you could uh, go into other things here go into the plot and change um, here look what i've done is by default it will be you know cross instead of cross i wanted a circle it's a little bit easier on you and then change the color uh, one here to uh, uh, blue as you can see here make it 100 percent opacity and color two to green and make it 100 percent opacity very simple once you're done it will be very easy in your eyes and uh, much easier to read the once you have this uh, lazy bear squeeze indicator um, the way to read this is really look as many of you know here right market really uh, you know does multiple things here it can either trend look if you look at the si here silvergate market is trending down this is a trending here as the market is trending the lazy bear indicator also tells you it's trending look it's trending down and also as you can see here these uh, green dots that tells you it's the market is trending right now look up to this point market is trending and you could see here on the top here market is trending up to this point and look once market trending is kind of um, over then there is something called a squeeze look right here we got a dark blue uh, dots as you can see here right here look we got dark blue dots here that tells you at this time market is uh, in the trading range this is when the volatility volatility is uh, relatively low here it's in a trading range it's also indicated by bollinger band here squeezing that's why it tells you it's a squeeze right now because bollinger band is squeezing and bollinger band is typically inside the kaltner channel that's why it's called squeeze here 
the moment you see the squeeze that tells you market has to go up or down relatively soon and you know the squeeze cannot last for too long here look in here the squeeze is really short look we got uh, three uh, dark blue dots here after that it's a uh, it's basically squeeze is over and when once the squeeze is over you can see here it's to the downside as you can see here so you know many times you know when you see more blue dots that tells you that there's a tight compression of volatility the more uh, blue dots the better but right now as you can see here as you see the re recent uh, trend as you can see here all uh, light green dots here on top look right light green all the way it tells you market is right now trending and trending down as you can see here so many technicians also look at uh, the length of these bars here if the bars are getting shorter that's a good sign here that tells you there may be some positive news but if the bars are getting longer um, and uh, if they're getting bright red that tells you market is really uh, you know on the negative side coming down and if the bar is getting a little bit uh, uh, look here we got a lighter shade of red here that tells you there may be some positive news so that's how you can read through this here right now as you can see here that's a e for earnings and if you click on it it tells you earning is coming up on december uh, on 17th of january and look um, we got you can also see right here in three days that's why you got to be careful here by looking at silver gate here you could also look at uh, trading view they have a nice view here look we got uh, you know q321 here and uh, q321 i think they did pretty okay here and we are going to be going into q322 we have to see how it does and depending on that you know market might go higher right now we got a lot of negative news baked into the market that's why you know there is a chance this can go higher and then we got a few more and then we got the way to read this chart i will not go through every all of them here but we could look at a few more here this is the short list um, and short uh, float is very high for this list here and now we can go into my other list here which is really short uh, float high but there is also high option open interest look this is a new list with the high option open interest many of you want to know about these names here let's look at Carvana again high option open interest look Carvana here uh, what's going on look we got a squeeze look these are dark blue lines that tells you the squeeze we got a lot of dots here about uh, say five dots or six dots here after six dot it went higher right now we are actually going higher but we got a you know lower bar candle right here at this time you got to be slightly careful here with the carvana <clears throat> and uh, you know because it went up so much here and it's also uh, looming some bankruptcy you got to be slightly careful if it comes down further you could buy some uh, but also you know keep a watch here if you want to buy now uh, you know keep a watch on these uh, bars if this green bar if they become short then just ex exit out but if these green bars are uh, pretty solid and going taller growing taller then you can hold it that's how you trade it and go from there and then you got bbby here look bbby went higher but there's a nice and a nice candle which is a down and look uh, this one uh, looks like earning is done next earning is in 88 days as you can see here look it's also going higher if you want to buy here i would say wait for a little more pullback here then you could buy but right now look it's a uh, trend is uh, going um, higher as you can see here and it's trying to go higher but right now i'd be slightly careful i would buy on a down day not a up day here and then you got Mar marathon digital again it's a great play look at the way it's going up here nice uptick and uh, lazy bear indicator is telling you hey right now you know you can still uh, go and buy parties on but the moment this uh this uh this uh, uh green bar becomes shorter or you see a little more darker shade of green uh, then you gotta be slightly careful um, and go from there look it went uh, we have bright green here it become a little bit dull green then you should exit out that tells you not a good time to be in
so right now we are in the bright green mode so you are okay the moment is a little bit uh, darker or a you know like darker shade of green that tells you uh, you know you could uh, you should get out and take some profit and I got a few more here. You might wonder, hey, where is my, you know, stock like, uh, say, GameStop? Look, we got GameStop right here. And GameStop, look, it's uh, trying to go higher. Look, nice uptick, as you can see here. Lazy Bear Indicator is telling you, um, look, it's uh, trying to improve, as you can see here. So at this time, you could also buy some, uh, you know, GameStop, given it's trying to go higher. And it's uh, trying to trend higher, as you can see here. And you could look at test. Uh, we already looked at AMC earlier, I think. Uh, no, we did not. Let's cl quickly look at AMC here. I'll just type AMC. It will bring up AMC. All right. So look, AMC perspective. Lazy Bear indicator is telling you, hey, you know what? You could buy AMC because uh, the red bars are getting shorter. And uh, AMC is also trying to go higher, as you can see here. You could uh, look at AMC also. And many times, you know, you might want to, you know, get this uh, short uh, list into your option, into your screener, so that way it's better. So what you could do for that is you could uh, just go here, and you could just uh, click on these things here, and say I will basically select one of these things here instead of uh, I will just just say um, you know the last sign uh, color here, which is uh, pinkish. And you could just add them here, and then you could go into your uh, uh, screener. You could look, we got stock screener. You could go right here, and you could ch uh, choose the same color. It will load that up here. Uh, let's see here. Uh, looks looks like my indicators, my filters are not letting me letting them load. So I can change here to a little bit friendly um, filter here, which is no filter and then i should see my symbols here look we got silver gate and uh, bbby and we could add marathon digital also and so on so forth <clears throat> you'll see all these things down here in our uh, list here and the moment i see this in here my favorite way to look at it i would go into my you know rsi that's um, you know relative strength index um and that can tell you tell me what's going on here look we got uh, moving average and so on so forth here and i got so many views here uh, what i typically do is i would go into you know a performance or a, let's see here what i got here i could go into one of these uh, views here got volume and support resistance i think let's look at support res resistance i think that should be good enough here and we can go from there all right so look we got support resistance view here i think in this support resistance view i don't have rsi i would go into um, a rsi type view here which uh, let's see here maybe the volume i might have rsi look we got rsi right here we got rsi 14 you could uh, look at the rsi here if the rsi is down um, you could buy but if the rsi is slightly higher like marathon digital i would not buy at this time so with that we'll conclude here thank you very much happy investing and trading please subscribe